Joining us now is former congressman of Virginia and famed rhino slayer, former Virginia congressman Dave Bratt. He's also the senior vice president of business relations at Liberty University. Congressman, welcome. Thank you, Chanel. Great to be on. I don't know about you, but I shudder whenever I hear Kamala Harris speak. Um, I know that you, from an economic standpoint, are probably, um, you've probably had even more reactions than simple shudders. Yeah, no, that's right. And, you know, I'll keep it unbiased even. My critique of her is the same as with the economic profession in total. The evidence is clear. The American people in the polls, the top three issues are not being dealt with by economists or by this uh, presidential, uh, uh, you know, hopeful. Number one, inflation, 25 percent over the past four years. Uh, what is her solution for that? Not not a word. That's the number one troubling issue, especially for the middle class. Right. The top 10 percent of people own 90 percent of the stocks and bonds. The Federal Reserve just cut the interest rate to help out the richest people. Again, the middle is left with nothing. Issue number two, which she was in charge of. What is the total cost to our economy of 15 million illegal immigrants? Uh, the total cost in economics is not, it, it, not just a price tag, right? It includes the social costs, health care costs, criminal costs, social cultural costs, everything. Not one bit of analysis. And she is in charge of the administration on that issue. And the mainstream press, we're in not one probing question at all. And finally, the most deadly, and I mean literally deadly lethal, is the endless wars. That's the number three issue the American people care about in order. One million young boys dead and injured in Ukraine. The war machine is a full front. We have four wars going on simultaneously right now, 14 hot spots. Not a word from the press. Oh, they're the most ethical, caring people. There's love signs in front of all the malls you go to. Everyone loves everybody. Uh, but there's not much love for a million uh, uh, young boys uh, killed and injured in war in Ukraine. Uh, under President Trump, all political views are my own, but the past administration, no wars, because he knew how to pull the lovers of power uh, to make this country better off. And that's why we had peace and prosperity uh, during that uh, period. Congressman, so earlier we had uh, an FBI whistleblower named Marcus Allen testify to Congress, your former colleagues up there. Um, he urges Americans yep. to vote, to arm themselves, and to stock up on three to four months supply of food and water and pray. Now, you know, alone, that's one statement, but now you're hearing that alongside lawmakers getting together and saying they want to amend the Constitution for a potential mass casualty. The U.N. is talking about mass casualty events. We're hearing NATO commanders now preparing for also mass casualty events. That seems to be the new buzzword. What do you think about all that? Yeah, it's very interesting. The left tells you ahead of time. If you've not read the RFK Jr. book uh, on the real Fauci, you know, you can skip over the Fauci part. But the last chapters, they tell you about COVID tests and how to handle the press a decade ago. And they were having all sorts of practice sessions. Obama just made a movie a year ago about a massive cyber attack event. Uh, you know, curious movie topic for a former president to make. So, you know, uh, the, the left, the, the neo-Marxists, they're masters in the PSYOP uh, school. Uh, Jamie Raskin in Congress uh, on the left side has uh, said, uh, if, if the Democrats win the House, all political views are my own. Uh, he said uh, President Trump will never be president. They'll take uh, actions to make sure that election doesn't happen. So after they complain about us complaining about election uh, integrity, it's just wanting to have paper ballots to make sure, you know, we just count all the votes, have, open the state election board so we can check, you know, who signed up and who voted. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.